Hi, myself Dr. Anu Jain, urologist from Manipal Hospital, Habal. So on the count of World Kidney Day, upcoming World Kidney Day, I'll be speaking on urinary tract infections for your general knowledge. So basically, urinary tract infection is in general is a very common entity which we deal in day-to-day -day practice. And in fact, the patients also, they are dealing with this entity at, uh, and at several times in their lifespan. And these infections are very, very common. So these infections mainly they are uh, in terms of that they are uncomplicated UTIs as well as complicated UTIs. So uncomplicated is mainly in the reproductive age group females which will have encountered this and then 40 to 50 percent of the women in their lifetime they will definitely have one episode of UTI, urinary tract infections. Whereas complicated UTI are mainly seen in the cases of older men with a predisposing factor of benign prostate hyperplasia then along with maybe for the kidney stones or bladder stones in the setup along with that in pregnancy patients and in the patients who are have some other immunocompromised status and other the, than the most common in diabetic patients it is a complicated urinary tract infections which are we encounter so mainly the infection which we usually encounter is is a lower tract infection which means mainly the bladder infections so it is basically a cystitis which is bothering you at most most commonly but for a urologist the more more bothering is the upper tract infections which brings us to the kidney infections so kidney infections it can present as pilitis it can present as pyelonephritis and maybe just uh, and end phase station it's it may uh, as emphysematous as pyelonephritis also who are the risk factors for all these kidney infections? The so predisposing factors mainly diabetics, mainly immunocompromised patients, HIV patients who are mainly patients who are on immunosuppressants or on malignancy treatments. These patients are the main patients who have risk of developing complicated kidney infections. Fine. So these, how do they present kidney infections? Kidney infections present mainly in the form of fever, high grade fever with chills chills should not be ignored in any patient at times the presentation might be only chills without any fever episodes so chills should not be at all neglected along with flank pain is a very common feature but in diabetics sometimes the symptoms are not that uh, uh, obvious they have they don't present with these obvious symptoms they present in the later stage with full blown sepsis vomiting severe vomiting dehydration and then subsequently they go into multi-organ dysfunction syndrome because of the sepsis involved so these patients end up in a very very bad state and they need immediate uh, management so they, there is how to go about the management of unit tract infections in general in general normally the antibiotics are the state of care for managing a unit tract infection episode but in patients who have complicated UTI especially the kidney infections in the form of pyelonephritis and these patients need more utmost care they at times need intensive care management and along with they need at times drainage procedures in the form of double uh, DJ stenting that is a cystoscopic procedure minimally invasive done by a urologist to drain the whatever infection is collected in the kidneys it can get drained through the into the bladder and subsequently to the external so and the other is the percutaneous nephrostomy in patients sometimes when there is a proper frank purulent pus in the kidney that is drained by the percutaneous nephrostomy these are the main interventions which are done in the emergency setup when the patient presents but yeah then with along with this antibiotic care and the, all the other supportive treatment the patient normally will will recover but at times it has his own morbidity and mortality involved so we should never neglect a kidney infection and what about the preventive measures preventive measures mainly we we have these days since we have a technology advancement we can do and we can especially in diabetic patients we have the facility of doing a removing the necrotic papillae which are the obvious of often the source of obstruction to the urinary passage and it leads to the recurrent episode of kidney infections these can be dealt with endoscopic measures we can go inside using a flexi scope and we can retrieve the papillae and so that the future risk is decreased for the upcoming kidney infections in that particular patient and the other modalities apart from that is that we can look for we can give uh, this thing uh, a probiotics to replace the internal milieu the bacteria growth the the residing bacteria in the bladder as well as in the urinary tract so these can be taken care of with by pro probiotics and other supplements in the form of cranberry mannose extracts which can help in decreasing the risk of recurrent uti so i conclude here 
and for any doubts and any queries you can reach us to me in Manipal Hospital Hebbal. We'd love to uh, solve all your queries and needs. Thank you.